no guys even really try to talk to me. Like, or, or I should say, um, no guys that. It's like, I don't no, no, no. It, of course, of course, that. guys. Are, no, 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 no. I'm saying, of course, there's guys in my DM, like random people. Yeah. But guys that I would be interested in, they, there's really nobody trying to talk to me like that, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Would you date a guy that's a normal nine? To, okay. Would you date a guy makes forty thousand per year, and he's not hot. He's just like, eh, all right, average guy. <laughs> Average guy? He has a little, a little beer. He's like skinny, you know, little beer belly. No. Nah. No. I take care of myself. I'm in the gym four to five times a week. Um, at whatever his salary is, to me, I feel like I still want to be attracted to the person that I'm with. And $45,000, well, you could be in the gym. A gym membership is $20 a month. Mm -hmm. So if I'm, again, I had a kid a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. I look damn good. So mm -hmm. it's like, I would want someone who takes care of their body. Mm -hmm. So... The, the beer belly is kind of where you lost me. It wasn't even really the money thing. It was like the, the attractiveness. What if he was like dead in the face, but jacked? 40000 a year. No! <laughs> I don't like what I'm looking at. And men, like, especially too, as they get older, like, I like the salt and pepper. Like, they yeah. get sexier. Like, mm -hmm. I don't want to date someone that I'm not attracted to. Would you date someone like 20, 30 years older? 30 years older. He's salt and pepper and fine? <laughs> Probably. He's okay. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just like, even when girls say they're like bringing... It's so crazy because she is so upset about guys not taking her serious. And it's like, oh, well, look at your standards too. You you honestly think, you know, the guy you want's going to want you? Like, come on now. I mean, I know for a fact, and she knows she has plenty of guys in her DMs, but she's not going to take any of them seriously. Like... She just, and she dissolved herself for any, like, you know, potential kind of candidate that she could, could have had, you know? It's freaking amazing. Down their standard. It's like, do, do we really? I like, think I, I, I think I'm like. You know what percent of men most women find unattractive? What? Not, not just okay, unattractive. Okay. <laughs> 80, you, you probably find 80% of men unattractive. So even if, like, just, and that's why I say, like, even if you find a guy attractive, like, you just think he's fine. That means other girls think he's fine. That's top 20% of men. And it yeah. kind of puts us, and it kind of just puts us in the same predicament where it's, like, through our 20s, like, this this is what the guys are complaining about. It's, like, okay, through our 20s, we're going to sleep around with the, the rappers, the entertainers, and maybe, like, you know, most girls, I, I would say, I know the manosphere says differently, don't, don't have access to the guys you would access to, Right. But it could be like the town rapper, the town, like what, yeah. whatever it was, right? Yeah. And those guys will never commit. And if they do commit, they'll probably cheat. And then we come at 30 and say, take me now, maybe with a kid from someone. Yeah. And it's like the guy comes. It's like the classic Ross and Rachel scenario. She wants to go through her whole face and then just, you know, hopefully he's still there waiting and she wants to snag him up after she realized that being a hoe wasn't fun comes in and feels like he's like settled for because the guys you really wanted were in your 20s and it's kind of like what you're saying is kind of reiterating this because you just said now like you don't have the guys you want in your dms anymore correct but this is how it's meant to be because a lot of people have villainized me and i've played into that actually i'm gonna say people have villainized me and i have villainized myself because it's like well mm -hmm. instead of fighting against it and you know uh I don't know, trying to convince people I'm actually a good-hearted person, mm -hmm. it's easier to just be the villain. Mm -hmm. um, so I do feel like the villain element is a lot of, I would say more so what guys fear, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're thinking she's going to hurt me, she's going to write about me, she's going to this. Um, so to be honest, I wasn't meant to be with any of those guys in my 20s. Like, there, it wasn't a match. And like, I, There's nobody then that I'm like, I wish they would take me seriously now. No. Like, they... I like them the same reason they like me. Mm -hmm. I'm trophy pussy to them. And they're basically trophy dick to me. We both got what we wanted. I, I mean, essentially, we wanted to have sex. That worked. I mean, yeah, you have sex and you maybe want to start being in a relationship. But you don't. I didn't fucking know them like that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of guys I didn't really know on that level to even... It makes sense. So it's not even like you were saying... Um, I'm trying to think of the, the sentence you said before we started this conversation, though. Uh, this, this topic. Um... Was so it? so it's not even that I'm like, oh, I wish I had those options. It's just more so like that shit was shallow anyways. Mm -hmm. Everything was shallow about it. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't really want to get to know me for me. 
Yeah, but that's like, that's like the woman's point of view. You know what I mean? Like, the but they men. didn't want to get if they wanted to get to know me from me. Right. It'd, be, it'd been a little different. Right. No, but I'm saying like from the men's point of view, it's gonna be, and this is just you know again what what the guys are saying. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, you made all those like you let all those guys hit for free, and now I gotta do all this. Well, it's not even. I don't even look at it as well. You did it for free because I'm not a prostitute. Like, and I'm not a glorified escort. Right. Either. It's not even that. <clears throat> the point is that. Let's say when you're younger, you met a guy and, you know, it was cool, you know, and you hooked up. He didn't really like take you out or nothing. You guys just hooked up. You thought he was cool and special or whatever. And you gave up the pussy, you know, whatever. Then you meet another guy and maybe takes you out, whatever, buys you a drink, you give it up. Cool. All right. Then you meet another guy. You make him wait a second date. But he finds out that other guys, you know paid for you only a beer other guy got it for free and he's over here paying for a second date and he's gonna you know what the fuck like i'm over here you know, no man wants to pay you know full price for a used material it's like buying a sandwich that's half eating are you gonna pay full price for that no i'm sorry if that's a fucked up analogy but it's just true like let's be honest now that's that might not yeah. be how you look at it okay. but this is that's this is, crazy to me. this is this is just how, like this is how men see it it's like yeah. it's like okay uh, blessing <laughs> you have you you took your girl on dates right yeah. yeah how would you feel how would you feel if you took her on let's say five dates before you hit i'm not, i don't know what y'all did i'm not and then you found out that your bob down the street hit without taking her on shit <laughs> like it, it hurts it's like it hurts no, the man's ego no that's fine and it hurts it's not even it's not insecurity either it's just like I, that's no what, I, it's not insecure it's not ego it's just it's like a waste of time where you just feel stupid it's like what the fuck like i'm over here you know wine and diner and all this and this dude over here down the street who's a smug kind of for free like it's like what the fuck i'm wasting my time honestly i mean that's that's unfortunate that's just how men are that's how we think like like to say that that's shaming us or we're insecure is stupid. That's fucking stupid. It's like, no, I'm just wasting my time now. I mean, but that's where I have to come in and say, okay. Like, I'm not saying your ego shouldn't be hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm saying you're not somebody that is even like, we're not on each other's radar. Mm -hmm. So the man that I want can't, can't care about who the fuck I went on it, who I did what with. And that's a small percentage. So that's why it's like him, him saying that. And those guys, I'm telling you now, you do not want them. The guy who is willing to, I guess, uh, how do you say it? Um, not care about your past. I, I, I 100% guarantee you, Brittany Renner, you do not want that man. Because I guarantee you, he's in your dms waiting and you are not going to give him a time of day let's be honest now he's allowed to feel that way mm-hmm. i mean mm-hmm. that's fine like you're not on my radar I think, I think the as many of you know i was just banned on- once again i'm going to give away one of your secrets but this one is not going to be very popular with the ladies bet I thought this was obvious, but apparently not. I'm really sick of seeing girls on this app being like, oh, he ghosted me. He just suddenly stopped talking to me. What's wrong with you men? Why do you do this? Do you want to know why? It's one of two reasons. You might have came on too strong, a little too fast. You know, maybe sent him some nudes or something. And he's not all guys are like that, believe it or not. Oh, they don't all want to see your poo tang. But two, which is probably the biggest reason. And gentlemen, if I am wrong, tell me. Do you know why he suddenly just stopped talking to you? Because he was probably the one initiating all the conversations. And then one day he stopped initiating it to see if you would initiate it and you never did. So he just stopped texting you because he felt like you didn't give a shit about him and he moved on. Tell me I'm wrong. Thank you. I like her. She's cool. She says a lot of truth. Especially about, you know, men and, you know, things that's been going on. And I, I used to watch her a lot, a lot of her TikTok videos um, like a couple of years ago. And that's probably why like, I stopped seeing them because I think she did get banned from, um, she was uh, talking about that. Um, 
but I want to get into what she's saying. Another reason why, ladies, pay attention, why a man will stop talking to you after he gets sex. And you women are always wondering, oh, I don't want to just give it up, but then because he's just going to fuck me and leave me. Well, you're asking the wrong questions. The question you should be asking is, how can I keep this man after he fucks me? What value can I bring to his life to make his life easier? Because the man, once he has sex, he won. You need to give him a reason why he should stay and why he should keep you as his own. You need to be asking the right question, not the wrong question. That's just a little advice right there.